guys, so welcome to our next exciting project. As some of you are aware, we've got a couple of 1 Series V8 swaps floating around the country. And um, this is our third one that we're doing for Curtis down in Melbourne. So he'll be very excited to see this underway. So let's go for a look around the car and explain what we're doing. So what we've got here is a E92 2012 uh, DCT V8. It's a salvage vehicle from one of our local auctions in Sydney. We were lucky to pick up. As you can see, it's just hit a, a guardrail in the front there and um, pretty well lucky to get the drivetrain out of this more or less intact. The reason why it looks so disfigured at the moment is because we've pulled apart all the scrap that's been um, mangled up to get to the the main part to make sure we've got no damage on pulleys and things like that. So yeah, it's a little bit further apart at the moment because we've just done a rod and main bearing swap on this thing routinely just because we wanted to make sure that it was a healthy engine. It gave us a chance to look inside and check the condition of bores and uh, crank journals and all those sorts of things that these things suffer from. Um, so if, we'll go for a quick walk around it and have a look anyway. inside we've taken the seats out but it's a pretty nice I think it's got 91,000 k's this car um, interior is really clean the steering wheels immaculate our pedals are in really good nick we're going to take over the instrument cluster steering wheel paddles the shifter and everything into the one series if we come around the back See, we've got a carbon roof on this, so it was a competition pack. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice starting donor vehicle for what we're doing. Um, there's the intake manifold off the engine. Let's have a bit of a look at the bearings that came out of this thing. So these are the Conrod bearings, which have got a little bit of wear on them, but there was no significant failure or any concern with these, but we've swapped out new ones and rod bolts anyway. But where it does get interesting is the main bearings do have quite a bit of wear compared to the rod bearings. As you can see on that front one there, it's quite badly marked, which um, can affect oil pressure flow and oil pressure buildup in these engines if they're not perfect. So we've put new main bearings in. We've done the timing chains at the same time and we've now rerun the engine in the car and it's beautiful so we know we've got good oil pressure and a healthy engine before we pull it out anyway so we're going to pull this out and prep all the drivetrain and all the other components we've got to take the abs module and uh, some of the brake parts a lot of the hoses and lines and fittings will come over We'll go for a quick look up underneath the car. We've already taken the tail shaft out. We're just about ready to unbolt the gearbox and take it all out with the engine together. So all these heat shields will come over. Uh, the front cross member will come over to the one series. We've got some rear chassis braces here, which we're also going to attempt to install on this one series as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing ripped out and, and we'll show you guys what's next. 